waters were hovering on, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. So when this chakra gets closer to the other chakra, what you are calling the sun, but it's not the sun, it's the reaction between the two chakras. It's not the sun, it's the temperament or the temperature when our body of water, what you call earth or the planet earth, is interacting with another body of water, okay, which is another planet, which is another being, which is another entity, and then when they're interacting together, when two high velocity objects come together, they create a heat, a temperament. That temperament, speculative, becomes operative temperature, the sun. So the sun is as a result of our friction and fusion and collision with the other atmosphere. So it was when two firmaments collide. When you have two firmaments collide, you create a spark. Now that spark is what you call the sun. That temperament is what you call the sun. It's our star. When you want to think about how when two uh, uh, beings, when they come together, the temperature rises, think of yourself in a matatu. And the more people you're in the matatu, the more it becomes hot. It's becoming too hot. Think about it like that. Now, let's talk about your mother. You fell out of your mother's ass and you came to this world. A.K.A. you fell out of that tomb. A.K.A. you fell out of that environment. It was an environment. Otherwise, how could you have been inside your mother? If she was not an environment, if she was not a womb, if she was not a black hole, if she was not a sun. Think about the sun like a black hole. You'll always be inside something. You'll always be a system inside a system. There'll always be space within spaces, esoterically speaking. Now, all you have to do is now figure out your piece of the pie in that space. Okay? So the difference of that piece of pie it's your thoughts and feelings, your imaginations, your chakra, your solar plexus, your phoenix, your Christ consciousness, how you piece it out and then you present us to, to, for us to see as your gifts and talent or what you can say uh, your charismatic gifts or what you are known for or your intellectual property right or what you build, whether it's mentally, physically or spiritually, it doesn't matter. Now, as long as you are doing it for God and you are here for expansion of God and making God all possibilities. So now, the battles that you fight in this world, the physical, okay, are all related to your mother, aka they are all related to your seat of emotions, your emotions and feelings, which is your soul, which is internal, which is yin, okay? So all the things that you are struggling with today all came from your mother. You have a mother. Your mother had a mother. A mothership. Whatever you want to call it. So that mother, let me make it make sense for you now. You know your mother can lie to you. Most of you have left your husbands because your mother told you so. Your mother is a single lady. But because of respect and she's my mother, she knows all. Uh, she knows the best for me. You leave your husband, and now you are single like your mother. At first, it may have been okay because it was your mother. You know, how can your mother be bad for you? So, if your mother can lead, mislead you to do something wrong, and you can justify based on the fact that it's your mother, and this is just on the external, outside, the physical, yang, what you can see, okay? Now, think about... You are internal, the, the thoughts and feelings, which is the soul of you. So if the external mother can lie to you, she can make you cheat and stab and, 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 and be in trials and tribulation based on she's my mother. I'm following my mother. I respect my mother. I, I came from my mother. How, how dare you go against your mother with all these cultures and all these things. However, when it comes to religion, religion wants to teach you Okay? Religion is teaching you that when you go with your emotions and feelings, when you follow your feelings and emotions, you can be wrong. 
That is what religion teaches you. Religion, religion teaches you that you should not do things based on your feelings and emotions. Okay, that that is wrong. However, that can lead you closer to the truth. Your emotions and feelings, which is your soul, your spirit, can lead you closer to the truth than relying on something external, which is a logic, left brain, Man gave it to you, it's a Bible, it's a verse, it's an education, it's all left brain, it's all external, it's all logical. Because when something has to be logical, then someone always has to be on the side to explain it to you. So it's not from you, you are not illuminated from within, you are not enlightened, you are illuminated. So someone is external, something is coming from external, illuminating your life. Because a man is giving you logic, language linguistics so it's external so it's left brain okay so if it's left brain it's logical it's masculine it's externalized so you are receiving from second handed down knowledge so you are better off practicing individuality spirituality listening to your own thoughts and feelings since your thoughts and feelings is more closer to your soul, more closer to your mother, and you always have a mother, so take care of your mother, your spiritual mother, and she always had a mother. And the best way to take care of your mother is to make sure that your mother is not indoctrinated, a.k.a. make sure that your spirit, your mother, your mother, your spiritual mother is not indoctrinated, is not given a religion left brain, external, from outside, because your mother has her own mother. And the best way you can do is to let your mother find her own mother without you now allowing an external, a logic, a language to give you a mother because you know that is how you get illuminated instead of being enlightened. And all of you, most of you are Illuminati. Because you don't even understand the meaning of Illuminati. To be illuminated is to be illuminated from external, from outside. So all these things are your illuminations. You are all in the Illuminati. You are all illuminated. But you, still, you need to go within, internal, yin, the mother, the soul. Okay? Religion tells you not to go to your soul. But there is a quicker way to the truth through yourself. The way I gave an example, than from, than from an external mother. And so in this life, when you say, or when you're talking about the matrix, stop thinking about the matrix like the movie. Understand that you are under the trick matrix of the mother, which is all the demonic things and uh, 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 the trials and tribulations, the situations and circumstances that you face, uh, what her, your mother has always saved, it doesn't matter what changes may be the person, place, or thing, the situation, or circumstance, the location, the language, the color, the, but it is still the same trials and tribulations. So when you look at your life, whatever you are going through, those are the same demons that your mother was struggling with. So help your mother, aka heal yourself, so that now when you heal yourself, or the indoctrination that was put on your mother, your mother now can start to heal herself. And as a collective now, each one teach one, we can all come together, not by moving in one side, but by being individual, self, separated, but moving in one direction. Because no one is leaving this place alone. You can forget about that. You are not ascending alone. It's a collective that is why they talk of rapture and rapture the explanation of rapture is not what they explain in the bible rapture is when all of you one day will be in a position as spirits each individual spirit be able to see things be able to realize like wake up and when we all wake up what we are going to do is that we are going to create almost a one world view keyword one world view, the way they do their world view, but then we'll all be aware of the all of the awareness in our own individual spirit or space. So we are going to implode or explode or whatever terms and conditions is gonna be. 
where we'll be scattered again what you call creation the big bang and we can create now new world again we can start the whole the whole uh, let us make man like one of us uh, the new thoughts and feelings that we to come aizo because that is what we'll keep doing death and birth death and bad resurrection and and rapture na vitu kama hizo but rapture that is how it's going to happen so shout out to everyone in the comments i see there's no question or anything today's thursday thursday is all about mind expansion na vitu kama hizo so when it comes to your mother the only reason you are taking care of your mother is not because you care about your mother very few people have the right spiritual mothers for themselves but you only take care of your mother so that now since you know that everything that you are going through is a result of your mother so you only take care of your mother because you are taking care of the original mother so that she is not indoctrinated ni sasa na mama kwa kuwe mjanja do have a beautiful thursday expansion jupiter make sure today you expand your minds learn something new it's all about thor is all about throwing your hammer into the skies and capturing it back into your arm and it come out is all those allegories when you are watching thor is all about taking mercury or it's is the, the beautiful mythologies if you know how to get the spiritual symbolism out of these mythologies go and read mythologies you know when you are growing up all religions and all or 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 what you call cultures culture is updated through what you call oral tradition so for you you had in your nganos ya marimo you had your readers and all these plays so oral tradition is how you understand the coded message so when you go to all these mythologies for them go and listen to their mythologies go and listen to the greek mythology the indian mythology and then you are going to find oh shit It is the same mythology like us it is the same beings it is the same deities it is the same entities it is us it's just that you like listening to others and not your story go and listen to your story you are beautiful stories thank you